Okay, what I want to do is I want to go over this warm-up with you. So this is 0 0.1. We gave you this warm-up paper that had the different sections with some few little problems on it. And I just want to start by going over 1.1. So 0 0.1, sorry about that. Um, and we're looking at this. So we're looking at this and we're saying yes or no, whether or not this is a function, and we're naming the domain. So remember, functions, it's all about the x. So the x is going to tip you off and tell you, but you have to look even further than just looking at the x's. Every input has to have a unique output in order for something to be a function. So it's like a machine. You go up to it, if the machine is working, then every input, every x that you put in, gives you a unique y. And if it's a broken machine, it's not a function. So when I look at this, I start by glancing at the x's. And all of those x's do not repeat. So that means this is a function. So every time I put an x in there, it gives me a unique y. So this is a function. Now what is the domain? The domain is, uh-oh, uh-oh, what are my two rules? Put them in order and only list them once if there was more than one. So my domain, if I put them in order, is negative 2, 0, 1, and 2. And I'm going to put it in brackets. That's my domain. Now let's look at this next one. Remember, we're looking at the x's. So the x's are going to be the clue all about the x, all about the x, no y. So this is a 3, 2, and this one is 3, 7. So something is going on here. This machine, I go up to it, I put in a three, one time it gives me a two, and I go back up to that machine, I put in a three and it gives me a seven. So that is a broken machine. Every input, input of three, does not give me a unique output, because sometimes it gives me a two, sometimes it gives me a seven. So it is not a function. Now, if I name the domain, so again, in order, and no repeats. So there's only three listed here because three I don't list it out twice. Okay? All right, let's look at this last one. We're looking at these ordered pairs trying to determine if this is a function. So every x has a unique y. Uh-oh, look at this. This is a special weird situation going on here. So one time I go up to the machine, I put in a one and it gives me a four. And another time I go up to it and I put in a 1 and it gives me a 4. Is that broken? Is that a broken machine? No, this is totally still a function. So you can't just say, oh, the x's repeat, so it is a function or it's not a function. You have to look closely. So your first thing you look at is do the x's repeat. But now these x's repeat, but they still give me a unique y. So therefore, I can say this is still a function. Now, what is the domain? 1, 2, negative 3, 1, and 5. So in order, negative 3, 1, 2, and 5. Okay. Now let's talk about the vertical line test. So vertical up and down. A vertical line is only allowed to hit it one time. One time. So I'm going to draw something that is a function. I'm going to draw a graph that any vertical line that I draw is only going to hit one time. So in order for something to be a function, it has to pass the vertical line test. Okay. Now let's draw one that is not a function. So when I draw a vertical line, it is going to hit this graph more than once. So the fact that it hits this makes this fail the vertical line test. So when it fails the vertical line test, then it is not a function. Okay, I hope this has helped you if you had any struggles with 0 0.1.